what drew you to wing feather and to Pete in particular like what were the things that you were most excited about when you heard about the project and started into it uh what were you excited to play there okay i'll be honest you know the first thing i guess was that somebody offered me a an animation which i've been trying to get into for a long time you know hmm. and then when and then when you told me the story about you know when i told me the story about desmond and lost and all that i was like oh okay and then i saw the character i saw the drawing about oh my god that's me and i was like ah, annie look at this annie my wife and I said, look at this it's just that's you yeah but you look older and so you got the thingies um so all of that you know i didn't know i didn't know it you know but um yeah. but as i watch it you know i'm super um uh, interested and excited to see where this is all going to lead to even though i have the books um, I can see for an audience, they're going to be super excited to to get the answers. Thank you. So Pete is a character who, um, you know, is comical and light and then becomes a, a little more heroic. And then we just saw last week in episode five, he's extremely heroic, right? And is and quite fierce, actually, kind of a new side. Um, I know we talked about earlier uh, coming out of the booth, just how intense that session was when you're doing a fighting uh, sequence that you have to make all those sounds, right? Uh, yeah. And, and the reveal of what was under those socks. And Andrew's talked about this. I don't know if you know this, but that I think wrote the character with socks on hands and wondered, I wonder what's going to be inside there later. Uh, oh, I didn't, yeah. no, I didn't know that. Fast to sleep, dark alone. 